Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about Mikey Garcia bulking up, and uh, and my opinion. My, you know, the thing about it is when him bulking up at the same time, I just don't want him to bulk up so much. You know, saying him right now, the way he look, he look okay. I think he should stay at that weight and and get right into some more um, uh, boxing, as in training, not. Uh, a strength training, but maybe he might do a one more, um, another week or no, another two more weeks. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how much muscle he want to gain, whatever. But gaining a whole lot of muscle is not good. Um, it can, it can slow you down. Uh, and then one thing about me, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the gym myself, so I know something about muscle, uh, uh, weight and uh, whatever. And the thing about it is, um, the thing about it is muscle, muscle weight is heavier than fat weight. You know what I'm saying? Uh and um so he's gonna come in there with a somewhat of a disadvantage. I'm, I'm thinking, but maybe maybe he might not. He's gonna feel I know one thing, he's he might feel uncomfortable when he go in the ring and fight uh, Earl Smith Jr. Because he's he's gaining muscle, uh, you know what I'm saying, on his arms and on his abs and all that and his chest. So he's cause the reason why he's gaining muscle and stuff like that, muscle mass and or gaining muscle. It's because he wants to sustain some of that uh, blows that uh, or punches that uh, Earl Spence is going to put on him. And uh, especially to the abs, you know, that's what he definitely need to work out on in that area. Um, but the thing about it is uh, it, it's going to uh, slow him down. He's not a quick fight. He's not an athletic fighter. He, you know, he don't move around a lot in the ring. His movement is like a, a slow movement, but he moving to his own pace so he don't run out of breath. But, and then one thing about muscle, you can... Um, is you know his oxygen uh i wonder is he gonna can he keep it up for one to 12 rounds if it do go to 12 rounds you know what i'm saying um that's a that's a that's a that's an unsolved mystery right there but that's something that we gotta see mars to uh when this fight happens and uh it's just like me when i was uh bitch pressing myself um i had a wide grip when i was uh bitch pressing and and the thing about it is i was comfortable uh uh Raising the bar that way, lifting weights that way, you know, with a wide grip. But when I when I cl when I had a close grip, it was uncomfortable, and I, I ain't like that way. And I no, I was still getting it up, but it was just uncomfortable. So I went back to my right, my uh, my wide grip. That's the same way Mikey Garcia might feel in the ring when he uh, uh, start uh, boxing at the same time. But um, what he should do is start doing some some doing some boxing skills and see how he feels. You know, say so he don't want to be fatigue when he fight uh, uh Earl Spence in the, in the uh, uh early rounds or the late rounds or or the middle rounds whatever you know what I'm saying um but this is going to be an interesting fight um you know what I'm saying I've been said that uh is it a 50-50 fight mm, yeah, you could probably you could you could you could somewhat say that um you know what I'm saying I still say Earl Spence might still win but I you know it's always a chance that Mike Garcia still can pull his uh pull his off He's a very skilled fighter, a technical fighter, um, and he's uh, he's bulking up, so he's getting a little bit muscular, and that might still help him. Or, uh, it, it might still help him, but it might not. You know, what I'm saying it depends on how much muscle he, uh, he's he's trying to gain. And I think where he at right now, he should stay at that. Uh, he should, uh, ha, you know, he should stay as how he look right now, and uh, maybe look on, work on a little bit more abs and stuff like that, because. He's got to get ready for the uh, some of them body uh, punches at the same time, sustain them body punches from Errol Smith. That's what he's going to do. That's what he always do. Because one thing about uh, Errol Smith Jr., he worked with a lot of, he was spawned with a lot of Mexicans when he was in Texas. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's all, you know, uh, you know that's what he was doing. And um, so, but the thing about it is, uh, for Errol Smith Jr., uh, I hope, hopefully, I hope he's taking this serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he might not be taking this serious, but we'll see. Um, like I say, when they, when they fight each other, but this is going to be a um, I will pay for this fight. Like I said in the, in my in my uh, uh, videos that I already put up already, me saying this already, and um, this is uh, this is going to be a uh, uh, I think this fight is going to do better than uh, Tyson Fury and Wilder fight, but I'm, I'm uh, I think it's going to do maybe. It might be, it might do four hundred thousand buys. I'm thinking, but we we can, but we're gonna see. And uh, and uh, what do y'all guys think about uh, Mikey uh, Garcia bulking up and the way he look now? And hopefully he don't. Do you think he need to gain more muscle mass, or do you think he need to stay at where he at right now? 
the way he looked right now because you know muscle mass slows you down it don't mean that just look at anthony joshua uh he's muscular i mean fighting uh deontay wild he need to he need to trim it down a little bit at the same time if he gonna if he was gonna fight if, if he was gonna fight uh deontay wilder and uh tyson fury him being big like that's not gonna help it's gonna it's it's, it's a it's a uh it's it's not gonna help you know what i'm saying so uh hey so but but what do what do you guys think about this uh leave a comment at the bottom of my page subscribe to my page like my page hit the bell icon for more videos from me this is jt from above below the belt bye bye